Oh, I didn't bring blocks. Uh, get on. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, you ain't trying to mess with this. El Bozo. People who cheat in their speedruns are hilarious because they're terrible at hiding the fact that they cheated. These are the funniest fake Minecraft speedruns. This speedrun starts off very normal looking. My only comment is that while they do have a timer, it starts off at 0.75 seconds, which is suspicious. But there's only one way we're going to find out if this is fake or not. Well, the speedrunner turns around and immediately starts breaking this tree for wood. They turn the wood into planks. Like I said, everything here is looking very, very normal. Now, wait a second, though. I don't think you noticed a few things. If I rewind the speed run, you can see at the beginning of the footage, there's actually a village far off into the distance. And then after breaking the tree, when they turn around, there is another one right behind them, which is very, very lucky. But this is where things start to get very, very suspicious. You can see there's a flower on the ground and listen to what the speedrunner says about it. Oh, there's a poppy on the floor. I bet I could use that for something. Hmm. Okay. They're going to use it for something. I am terrified. Well, the speedrunner continues to explore this village and they found a blacksmith. You're never going to believe what they do. They give the wooden planks to the villager for a trade. And uh, yeah, the villager takes the planks and then starts throwing glowstone blocks at the speedrunner. And a water bucket. How is this possible? So the speedrunner starts building a Timu nether portal with glowstone, putting water in the middle of it and nothing happens. Now, of course, this speedrunner was trying to get into the ether, but I don't think they realized you need mods and stuff to go there. Oh, brother. And their damage control is giving a flower to this villager. Come on, how stupid can you get? Giving a flower to a villager is not gonna do it. What in the world? Yeah, uh, the villager starts building a nether portal. I, I must have missed a few updates. And if you think things can't get any worse, they get worse. He goes into the blacksmith house, opening this chest, and yep, it goes from zero to 100 real quick. So the speedrunner crafts flint and steel, and then they light their nether portal. That villager completely legitimately just created and something tells me that villager is going to be back for more acting. So the speedrunner enters the nether and again everything looks very very normal. But hang on a second. I don't think you noticed what just happened. Right now there is a piglin right in front of them. But if I rewind the speedrun footage in the same spot it was the villager from earlier. So clearly he just walked around and wasted time for the shape-shifting villager to change its form. So the speedrunner finds some gold. They get a single gold nugget and they return to the piglin. They throw the single gold nugget at the piglin. I think in an attempt to distract the people watching the speedrun and speedrun moderators, they open up their inventory and pretend to organize their items. And while that's happening, they get 64 blaze rods thrown on the ground. Buddy, you're not slick. Now, if things can't get any worse, listen to what the speedrunner says again. A stack of blaze rods? Thanks. I just need an enderman. I just need an enderman. And look at that. They found an enderman. If I rewind the footage, take note of where this piglin is. He's right next to this tree. Then when I fast forward the speedrun footage, the enderman is right next to that same tree. So again, I could be wrong, but I think it's very safe to assume this is just his friend shape-shifting into random Minecraft mobs. I don't know. Well, when the speedrunner approaches the enderman... <sighs> Oh man, you are not gonna believe what he says. Yo, uh, give me your balls. Yeah, and then the enderman gives him his... Eyes of Ender. These are very unorthodox speedrunning methods, but clearly they're working. So at a world record pace, 3 minutes and 20 seconds, the speedrunner has as many Eyes of Ender as he could possibly need, and he exits the nether. Well, the speedrunner returns to the overworld, and they start throwing their Eyes of Ender in order to locate the stronghold. But this speedrun has more twists and turns than a roller coaster at Six Flags, because while they're throwing the Eye of Ender, a pig with a saddle approaches them. If I go frame by frame, the pig is cycling through the items in its inventory. It's holding flint and steel. It's holding whatever in the world this ball is. I cannot figure it out. And then it starts creating the end portal. Um, you know, I haven't played Minecraft in a while, but I think I've, I've missed a few updates, guys. I don't know. Now, this is all fantastic news for the speedrunner until he realizes that the very friendly miracle pig doesn't know how to build an end portal. This is so goofy. Well, the speedrunner fills the brand new end portal with Eyes of Ender, entering the end. World record time, there's there's just one problem with this speedrun. Despite all of this ridiculous cheating, they forgot to bring blocks with them. And they used all of their ender eyes, so they can't use it to teleport into the middle of the island. And the speedrunner himself actually realizes this. Oh, I didn't bring blocks. But that's when it gets really crazy because the pig with the saddle on puts a sign down and the sign says, get on. Oh, so that's why he has the saddle on.
<laughs> yeah, so clearly they're having some technical difficulties because they kill themselves by accident. But despite dying in the middle of their speedrun, there is a very blatant and shameless cut in their footage, and the speedrunner starts taking hits at the Ender Dragon while on this flying pig. Unfortunately though, the Ender Dragon flies away. But this is where things get really weird, as if they aren't already weird enough. The speedrunner starts throwing all of their items on the ground in an attempt to get the Ender Dragon to perch, and then their timer says error, which I'm not sure why. Maybe it's malfunctioning because of all the crazy mods they have installed. Somehow it works. The Ender Dragon comes down and out of nowhere, it's killed in one hit. So the only thing I can assume is that the pig killed it in one hit. So technically, this speedrunner didn't get the world record. Uh, the magical flying pig did. I love how this flying pig just floats away into the sunset after absolutely carrying this horrible speedrunner. It is just the icing on the cake. What? What a goofy speedrun. I conveniently spawned facing a tree, let's go! Yep, nope, I am not reviewing the speedrun. The quality of this video looks like this person recorded their speedrun with a toaster oven, uploaded it to YouTube, downloaded it, and then repeated that process 1,000 times. Honestly, this speedrunner should get the Guinness World Record for worst video quality of all time. But I was curious, so I skipped through the speedrun, and holy cow, I am so glad I did not waste my time watching this. I'm sorry, but imagine waking up and and this is what you see at the foot of your bed. This is like one of those sleep paralysis demons. Yes! We beat Minecraft in a one singular minute. Ah, did you know? We did it. Yeah, anyways, the speedrunner beats Minecraft in a minute. Just horrible quality. I just thought it was funny, so I would at least talk about it for a minute. This speedrun seems normal right off the bat, but my only comments are that they have this keyboard thing at the bottom right of their screen, which is just obnoxious and distracting, but I suspect they have that on the screen to distract you from the fact that they are using Feather Client, which immediately disqualifies this speedrun. You are not allowed to use third-party clients when speedrunning a game. Well, the speedrunner creates their new world, calling it Speed Rum, and their loading screen looks very legitimate until this happens. Just wait. Yeah, did you see that? Let me rewind it and show you frame by frame. It goes by very quickly, but you can very clearly see that the speedrunner spawns in what appears to be a jungle biome then there is a very sudden cut where they're just in a completely different place, which is definitive proof that they are using a set seed, but you know, whatever, they're just not gonna tell anyone that. What a sloppy way to cheat. So the speedrunner turns around and wow, a ruined nether portal. What a coincidence. I'm sure that has nothing to do with their very strange cut earlier. They open the chest attached to the ruined nether portal and they literally get everything they could possibly want to need. Extra obsidian, a fire charge to light the nether portal, how convenient. But keep in mind here, the ruined nether portal wasn't even ruined. I'm not actually even sure if it can spawn this way. Completely filled. I don't know. Regardless, it's lucky. I'll give them that. So the speedrunner enters the nether, and hang on a second. Did you see what just happened? Let me play it again and tell me if you notice it. Yeah, that's right. Very suspicious. As soon as they enter the nether, not only is the loading screen just not present in the footage, all of the items in their hotbar are just gone. What happened? Where did they go? Well, the items are in their inventory inventory just removed from the hotbar, which means clearly the speedrunner was doing some nefarious thing behind the scenes and cut it out of his footage. Well, the speedrunner finds a nether fortress, and hang on a second, did you catch that? <sighs> There are so many sudden cuts in the speedrun. As soon as the speedrunner hits the ground on the nether fortress, there is another sudden cut, and the chat history makes it very obvious, saying set on game mode to survival. After the sudden cut, they approach a chest, which again has every item they could possibly need. Enchanted golden apples, armor, a weapon, and the armor and the weapons have unusually good enchantments to them. I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually know if it's possible to find an iron helmet with protection four in a random chest. The only thing I can assume is that they created this behind the scenes and cut it out of the footage. So the speedrunner wastes a bunch of time destroying these skeletons, and if I go frame by frame here, they're suddenly in a completely different location. And on top of that, where did they get these wooden planks? Well, it's pretty obvious that this speedrunner went behind the scenes, located a blaze spawner, and then cut all of that out of their speedrun footage. And that seems to be the motto for the entire speedrun, because again, there is a very sudden cut, and the chat log says that they added looting 3 
agree to their item. Come on, buddy. At least try to hide the fact that you're cheating. Well, after their golden sword is magically enchanted with looting three, they kill two blazes and get five blaze rods. And after these miraculous series of events, the speedrunner actually returns to their nether portal to go back to the overworld. Which is very confusing because usually a professional speedrunner would, oh, I don't know, go to a bastion and try and get Eyes of Ender. On their way to the overworld, though, tell me if you noticed what just happened. There is no loading screen, and if I go frame by frame, they actually return to the overworld in a completely different location, but there's a sudden cut and they're back to the jungle once again. Well, at 1 minute and 50 seconds, the speedrunner has as many Eyes of Ender as they could possibly need, so they throw it up into the air to locate the stronghold. The speedrunner jumps into the ocean, and they attempt digging down. Wow, for a Minecraft speedrun, this is just embarrassing. The speedrunner very quickly realizes how slow it is to break blocks underwater. They waste an absurd amount of time just trying to get underground underwater. They run out of air, put down a crafting table, and try to make a pickaxe, but they by accident just put all oak planks down. Then I think they realize, oh, I need sticks, and I need cobblestone, and you know, I need all this stuff. So while they are literally dying, they make a wooden pickaxe. And again, oh my goodness, it takes so long to break this stone block. But luckily, after breaking that first block, they do build above them. Finally, we don't have to sit through that torture anymore. So the speedrunner continues to dig down. They even throw an eye of ender to verify that they're actually going to the correct place. And then they go in their inventory to craft more tools. But hang on a second there, buddy. I don't think you caught what just happened. If I go frame by frame, there was a very suspicious cut. And well, would you look at that? They suddenly have cobblestone in their inventory, which they use to craft a stone pickaxe. But even cheating this much, the speedrunner still selects the wooden planks and attempts to make a pickaxe with just wooden planks. And then I think they realize, uh, wait a second, I, I forgot how to craft things again. But it's okay, they redeem themselves and they make a stone pickaxe. Would you look at that? They dig directly into the stronghold. But hang on a second, what's going on here? Somehow the speedrunner is clipped into the wall and straight ahead they can see the end portal room. This guy must have cheated during his speedrun and, and paid someone with food to edit it. Oh, you know, I I'll give you a double cheeseburger if you edit my fake speedrun and cut out all the bad cheating stuff. Clearly the editor didn't do his job well. The speedrunner enters the end portal room, filling the portal with eyes and entering the end. But surprisingly, there are no strange cuts here. Well, wait a second, did you just see that? <laughs> I spoke too soon. If I replay the speedrun footage frame by frame, you can actually see the chat box is open, but it's only for a split second. And unfortunately, there is no way to really tell what the speedrunner did behind the scenes here. There is only one way to find out though. Clearly though, what they did behind the scenes wasn't good enough because there is another sudden cut where their hotbar just completely changes full of beds. Is there no way he could have been more subtle about cheating? So the speedrunner starts placing down all their beds in the middle of the end island, while they are actively almost about to die, you can tell they know nothing about speedrunning Minecraft. And before the dragon even finishes perching, they blow up their bed, which blows up all the other beds. That is not how to speedrun Minecraft, buddy. And listen, I've done it before. It is really not that difficult. There are save files you can download on the internet where you could practice one cycling the dragon with beds. It is really not that tough. Well, anyways, after a very sudden cut, the ender dragon's health has decreased increased substantially. Then the speedrunner puts a bed down directly in front of him. The wooden block that's acting as a barrier glitches and becomes invisible. I have no idea what's going on here. But regardless, somehow, by some miracle, the speedrunner kills the ender dragon, beating the game in a world record 4 minutes and 41 seconds. My only suggestion to the speedrunner is to get a better editor. The best way I can describe this speedrun is amateur. They're using a video recording program that has slapped this giant enormous watermark at the bottom right of their screen, and then they window out of Minecraft during the speedrun to start a five minute timer. Buddy, I hate to break it to you, but I don't think that's how speedrunning works. Unless this is some sort of flex that they're gonna beat the game in less than five minutes, there's only one way to find out. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention, they have this crazy electronic hype music playing in the background, which is very hilarious to listen to while they are doing the most mundane task like breaking a tree. <laughs> Thank you. 
wait a second, what is he doing? Why is he opening his world to land? Yeah, okay, so 15 seconds into the speed run, he wastes a little bit of time trying to get our attention breaking a tree. Then he shamelessly goes into creative mode to give himself a netherite axe. And you know what, it's fine. He went back into survival mode. Yeah, it's no big deal. Wow, he really goes wild with that netherite axe, showing off his skill and agility, barely being able to break the blocks in front of him. So he makes a crafting table to make a wooden pickaxe and a wooden axe. Um... <laughs> Even though he has a netherite axe, did he forget that he just went into creative mode to give himself a netherite axe? Well, despite these things, the speedrunner goes back into the chat box. They start typing slash a gack. What is a gack? I don't know. Well, they were trying to go into creative mode again. And now that they're back into creative mode, they give themselves a lava bucket and a water bucket. They use that to create obsidian. Then somehow without breaking the obsidian block, they just magically have obsidian in their hands. Even though I'm confused as as to what just happened here. If you're gonna go into creative mode and give yourself a lava bucket and a water bucket to get obsidian, why didn't you just give yourself obsidian? Well, it doesn't matter. The speedrunner attempts to build a nether portal. They are having a very difficult time. Just struggling a lot to create a rectangle. And then they give themselves flint and steel. Honestly, I am very surprised they didn't go through some sort of 10 minute journey to create a flame to light the portal just to make this run seem somewhat legitimate. Now, as soon as the speedrunner enters the nether, they press F3, they're looking around, they're trying to find maybe a nether fortress, maybe a bastion. But after about 20 to 30 seconds of looking around, they just shamelessly go into spectator mode and oh my goodness, it is just hilarious to see this goofy goober floating around in spectator mode with this hype beast electronic music playing in the background. And the icing on the cake is this ridiculous watermark at the bottom of their screen. But then things get even crazier. They start typing in the chat box slash place. I feel like a big dummy because I didn't even know this was a feature in vanilla Minecraft. Like. Is this a mod or is this vanilla? Because supposedly you can just place an entire nether fortress. And it's at this point where the speedrun just goes downhill so quickly. The speedrunner goes into creative mode once they've reached the nether fortress that they just created out of thin air. Yeah, that's right. They don't go into survival. They're, they're just in creative for the rest of the speedrun now. Then they give themselves strength, nine billion, shmillion, gillion. They give themselves blaze spawn eggs. But while they're killing the blazes that they they just spawned in, their frame rate drops to like 1 FPS, so it is just impossible to tell what is happening on their screen. And after taking all that time to be playing the game at 1 FPS and get 11 blaze rods, they still just end up going into creative and giving themselves 64 blaze rods. Okay, this is just a little frustrating at this point. If you're gonna cheat, you're spending so much time for theatrics, just give yourself the blaze rods. Well, they give themselves ender pearls as well, and then, okay. Wait a second, why are they turning keep inventory on? Yeah, that's right, they just, they, they kill themselves, okay? When they respawn, they shamelessly give themselves end portal frames, and they shamelessly build the end portal. Uh, attempt, they attempt to build the end portal. Oh man, this is painful to watch. And then they try filling the end portal with ender pearls. Ooh, man. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the end of the speedrun, I'm gonna be honest. Well, at this point, the speedrunner tries to make amends. He tries to go into survival mode, but unfortunately, the first time he types game mode sir, and then the second time he does the same thing, game mode sir, then he types game mode sus, but the fourth time he is now in survival mode. So the speedrunner crafts their eyes of ender, then they enter the end. Unfortunately though, like every other Minecraft speedrunner who cheats, they didn't bring any blocks with them. Now keep in mind, they have ender pearls in their inventory, but instead of just throwing one on the end island to get them there, they go into creative mode again. So yada yada yada, they float around, they break the crystals. I just realized they must be speedrunning Minecraft on a potato PC because their render distance looks like it's maybe one or two chunks at most. 
Oh man, what is this? All right, as if the speed run wasn't already horrible enough, you tell me why in the world they are giving themselves a command block. They place the command block and in the console command box, they type that all. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean. Then they type kill that stupid ender dragon. Mm. And you will not believe it, it works. No, I'm just kidding, it does not work. Yeah, they put a lever down and they are just so frustrated now. They try again actually using the correct command to kill the ender dragon, but somehow it doesn't even work. I have no idea how. So out of frustration, the speedrunner breaks their command blocks. Then they give themselves a bed and just start placing a bunch down, exploding everything. <laughs> they do actually do a decent amount of damage on the ender dragon. They just keep on exploding the beds until they realize that he flew away actually quite a while ago. So they try plan A, plan B, plan C. After all those plans don't work, they eventually just do the kill command in the text box and the dragon's gone. Wow, that was a riveting battle. And just like that, they beat the game in world record time. <laughs>